So maybe you already have an audio podcast or you're just getting started, but either way, you realize there's a huge opportunity to reach massive audiences here on YouTube. But where do you get started? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you how we achieve this look right here for a two person video podcast setup. Plus, I'm going to highlight some mistakes slash problems that we had and show you where there's some room for improvement. Read them up and let's go. So this is the space. I did the space. Since this is not a set, you only have like backgrounds there. We're not going to rearrange the whole house. All right, what you think? How many lights you should use? We should use, we should still start normal. Huh? The normal, normal lights. lights sure. The normal lights? So in our case, our very first problem was to figure out what the angle was that we were going to shoot at. We settled on the dining room and then I figured if we switch the table around and use this natural backdrop here where I do some of my videos anyway, it could give us a good look and then we'd have that natural look with the long table and two people sitting across from each other. Then we ran into problem number two. If you're like me, you may not have a whole bunch of lights sitting around there, so you have to work with what you have. So what we were working with was two main lights. We had a Godox VL300 and then a Godox SL60W, which is my tried and shrewd budget light there. So then problem number three, aside from having limited lights there, the way and the look from what I wanted to achieve there, we also had limited stands. The problem was that even though I do have a couple of different boom arms, they weren't sturdy enough to hold the VL300 and just trying to get it up and out of frame was proven to be a little bit too difficult for us. So then after trying and failing quite a few different times, we decided to scrap the idea of the lantern softbox and we actually just used this strip softbox here on the backside with a grid so it didn't spill everywhere. And then we actually set up our dome softbox with the VL300 um shooting into the key side of the fit so then problem number three was kind of like a boring background so again we did have the painting back here we're trying to see if we could just spice things up there especially for the tighter shots there so what we did was to grab some stuff from around the house i do have the plants here and then we did put a lamp on one side plant on one side and then Willy want, wanted to kind of keep the symmetry so he kind of moved some of the stuff here that was on the accent table and just brought some of that over there to sit in between us so the table didn't seem too bare. The other little problem that we're running into is where we did have the lamp and the plant it did seem a little bit dark so I did take these little V light pocket lights that I had here sitting around the house but just to add a little splash of light. So we splash that little bit of light just to fill in the light a little bit onto the plant and onto the lamp there. And then because it was that we were getting that warm hue or motivated light, both from the accent lights and from the lamp, eventually what we did is go back and put a gel into the SL60W that was on the far side there, just to make it, make it a little bit warmer there. So step by step, as you could see me turn on each different light here, this is with just the SL60W, then the VL300 filling in, and then the couple of different accent lights on the other side there to achieve this look. And then camera setup. So for our main angle, I had the A7S3 with the Tamron 17 to 28, giving us the wide angle look with just both of us there that was shot into 4K. And then I had my A7S3 onto me with the Tamron 24 to 70 to give me my tight shot. And then luckily, because Willy Chin is a videographer as well, he had his A7 III with the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8, which is a Canon lens, but he has an adapter for it to adapt it onto his A7 III. And then audio, it took us so long to set up the video aspect of it and the lighting aspect of it. I wanted to go with something easy. So I was using the Godox W mic S1 kit there, which is a dual transmitter, single receiver there. So it plugged right into the camera. So I didn't have to worry about any other different audio. Audio turned out really good. Godox did not sponsor this video, even though you hear me talking a lot about their stuff. However, they did send me over this kit a long time ago, and I really like it because it is battery operated, meaning you could put AA batteries into it. So you don't have to worry about recharging it too much there, as long as you have some batteries on hand. Batteries last for a long time, and it turns out a pretty good audio signal there. So that's it. Hit the subscribe button and the notification button for more lighting tutorials here and I'll catch you in the next one. Big up yourself. Peace.
let's start off by first saying that yo, big up to Willie Chin because he's one of the first people. Actually, this is my main camera, right? Big up to Willie Chin because he's one of the first people that actually created my channel, which you don't even remember that. But we're just out at lunch and I was like, yo, just kind of started a channel. Want to do this interview thing, and he's like, Yo, let's go, let's do it right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see me? That just put us on a track to just go. Right and then now. big up Leo, that's the same <laughs> thing. I was talking to Leo, I was like, Yo, I want, I want to start a channel, this and that. That time, Leo already had a, a few videos up on his channel. Mm -hmm. I started showing him my content, and he's like, Yo, what you doing? So, you, you actually started my <laughs> channel. You started my channel. So, I went home, I uploaded a few videos, and then that got the ball rolling, and then. All right, cool. So. And then we're at present day now.